What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Coming to you from Burundi, Bujumbaru, to be exact, the city, the capital, right here amongst the locals right here. Definitely, I am in my element. Out here with the locals, staying right here too as well. Everybody now is looking at me, but I want to share a video with you all that I want you all to take a look at because something very interesting. Take a look at it, I'll be back. Uh, um, now, um, really, this, this, this is gonna sound silly, but this is really, really important, cutting edge genetics. One of the, one of the areas, I'm really lucky to, to I'm, I'm blessed to, to work in three distinct areas of biology, immunology, genetics, and reproduction. And on the genetic side, I get to go to conferences and hear about advances in genetics in all species. And I was just at one a couple of weeks ago down at the Cold Spring Harbor Lab in Long Island, and uh, I learned a, a bit about um, what's being known about the, the, gene, the genome of Neanderthals, the genetic makeup of Neanderthals. That, the uh, genome sequencers, like led by Svante Pabo, who works in Germany, has taken tiny little fragments of Neanderthal bones, isolated DNA, and determined the genome of the Neanderthal, and used that information to um, determine, using genetic methods, how, how long ago Neanderthals and humans were a single species, where the common ancestor was. And they've also been able to compare um, human genomes and ask the question of whether there's any evidence of Neanderthal genes in the human genome. And they found that there is. And, it's, and the amount is quite significant, upwards of five to seven percent. Neanderthals used to live in the Neander Valley. It's, you, know, you could have called it the, you know, the Cayuga Lake Basin, but that's where they lived. Um, and out of Africa came the modern humans, and they, the word the, the geneticists use is admixed. They admixed with the Neanderthals. Um, and they, they all used to live in caves in those days like this. Came out of Africa, had mixed with the Neanderthals. This was Neanderthal territory. There was another group of, of uh, Neanderthal-like creatures called the Denisovans. They lived up here in Siberia. And they have a, that their genome has been sequenced. They were distinct from the Neanderthals. And um, you, so you can find in people of European and Asian ancestry evidence of about 7%, 5 to 10% of genome, of your genome, is common with that of Neanderthals. We've been separated from them by, for, for 30,000 years or so. And in the, some of the tribes in Papua New Guinea and those islands out there, there's evidence for, for, for a different kind of genome, which is probably the Denisovan genome. And they might have 7% Neanderthal and 5% Denisovan. So they might be 12 or 15% different from us. And in fact, the, the Africans who came out from Africa have no evidence of any Neanderthal genes in them. No evidence of admixture. So they're the real pure humans. Homo sapiens. Really, really interesting and it gives you a lot to think about. I'll be back. Right. What do you think? You know, family, I've said this about five years ago or so. There are many species of human beings on this planet. I don't care what y'all think what the Bible says. God created more than one type of human being. If not, it would be contrary to the so-called life of what we see, an abundance of different species of everything that exists. Whether you talk about the, the angels or the stars or you want to talk about you want to talk about the plant kingdom the animal kingdom the mammal kingdom all of them have a mass load of different species so why can human beings this is why i believe that when the scientist knows when it compares our dna i did a video on the genetic DNA 9 series that they found that Africans have 
and Europeans only have six, that actually that number equates to how intelligent you are. When they have to compare pound for pound, who's stronger, smarter, or intelligent, more spiritual connected, it's gonna be us. But for them to admit that they are different than we are, that exposes them. This is why family, we have to wake up and realize that we the originals. Now it's sad that many of us brothers and sisters, because we have been indoctrinated to believe that we're all equal, coming from damn Erica, put the D in front of America, capitalize the E, that you believe that everybody is the same, which they lied to you. And my theory is becoming more and more correct as I live on in this life, being 56 years old, there are more than one human species. Forget what their scientists, forget what their archeologists have told you. We're the supreme beings, point blank. Now, I know I said that all other species come out of us if their theory is correct. But I have been saying for the longest, I believe there are, and they've shown there are many species beyond just one. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa.